Uh, hello everyone, welcome to uh, Retirando YouTube channel. Uh, today uh, we see Italian game and I think in this Italian game uh, we are saying Gayako uh, Piano Simo movement. How it will be actually Gayako Piano Simo or Gayako Piano is the move done by the black pieces. Okay, today we will start with the Italian game now. Okay, to make uh, Italian game, uh, first uh, both the white and the black pieces should move. Uh, the king's pawn. I mean, the king's pawn. If they make it, and that means I mean uh, e4 move. I mean e5 move. So that time it is uh, Italian game is possible. So now we can see moving e4, and the, from the black is moving to e5 makes uh, Italian game starting. So e4 and the black will start with the uh, e5 moment. And next we have n f3. So uh, king side uh, knight opening is n f3. And uh, from there, next the uh, black is opening n c six. Okay, and now the next is uh, we have the main the main uh, uh, strategy of chess is to open the minor pieces uh, initially. So in this case, uh, now bishop is going to open with the c four position is b c four. We can consider now what happens. Uh, black has got uh, so many variations, and uh, this movement this move decides. Uh, uh, which variation is done by the black? Okay, now suppose if a black uh, moves the bishop and brings to c5, that is bc5, it is known as a uh, greco piano, we say, or greco pianissimo, uh, we say that now. So, okay, uh, <coughs> when this is made, uh, this uh, bishop is made, it's just clearly targeting uh, this king sign. Uh, pawn. So, that is the main intention of doing uh, greco piano. And also, also, you can see this square, especially the d4. A square is uh, lightly powered by the black pieces uh, because there is a less majority of a white piece capturing the center square that is d4 hence in this case the better move for uh, white is to move c3 because c3 brings uh, a little power on this uh, uh, d4 now after this uh, you can see but this pawn is looking a little unsupported i mean it looks like unsupported hence uh, to attack this or to threat this black is opening nf6 movement so nf6 can easily uh, capture this one so that is the main intention of opening nf6 now what happens you are going to save it now how uh, you are going to save the very easy uh, saving method should be like very easy suppose if you open the d3 pawn you know it's not only going just saving this also the bishop is getting opened with this uh, file or registry and so it's very important to make d3 movement after the black has done nf6 but suppose now we can also consider one more thing instead of uh, making it uh, d3 what if uh, the white makes d4 Okay, this is the consideration now. If what if d4 is made? This is a little variation we have to study now. If uh, this is done, then it is just a simple small threat on this bishop. But however, you can see this pawn is still uh, <coughs> unsupported. But however, now it's a time to save this bishop. But however, there's a pawn on the e registry that can simply capture the d4. Uh, pawn and next again what happens uh, there is a support for from white side to capture this piece but i think it's not required immediately now because suppose if you capture this d4 and simply the black uh, piece bishop is coming to b b4 and just a check here and you are going to save that with uh, i mean knight so that it's better to save it from this position from knight because not from bishop because if you bishop, I think again the knight is going to capture the e4 pawn. And so reason it is always better to position from this one. Uh, but now, uh, what if the bishop takes this after bishop taking again? If this bishop takes again, this knight will is captured. We are going to lose. White is going to lose a, a piece. So hence the reason if you go a little back, you know, uh, instead of capturing this one before that, I think it is a very good move for white is to just move this e registry file to one position up. And e5 should be done. When this e5 is done, now this knight is on threat now. Okay, in this case, uh, what happens? Suppose if uh, this knight is going to move on this position, if it is moving ng4, thinking like thinking that uh, uh, it can just capture from the two pieces. It has got two powers. However, from white, there is only one support from nf3. 
NFT, but actually your thinking is wrong. The black, it has got a bad move for this. Because in this case, white is not going to think about this pawn. White is just going to capture the pawn of D4. Okay, now it's a threat on uh, Bishop, but however, there is support for this uh, this pawn, the, for this square. Hence, uh, I think knight is going to capture this. Uh, and again, this knight is going to capture this, and the bishop is uh, bx d4. If it captures, you can see now white can uh, queen can uh, capture any piece here. A knight is a little problem. Hence, if a knight takes this, uh, now you can see it is a little problem on this on g7, and as well on the bishop, which is on d4 square however this bishop can just simply capture this or pawn on e5 and also safeguard uh, this pawn but but the next move for the white is just to qh5 this qh5 you know it is having a checkmate threat on this one as well this is having a, a bishop problem bishop is in problem and the reason uh, this is not a good move, what is got a good move? The, when the knight is given a knight, coming to this position is not considered as a good move. Instead of this thing, uh, uh, black can also uh, make a give a threat for white bishop by moving a d, d square position upon d7 to d5. If this is moved, I think now the bishop is in a uh, problem. So this is how the Italian game Agaia Copianissimo game is played and hope so you enjoyed this video. For the deep video, which is still it is nothing yet for there are so many variations to be done. For this deep video, please kindly check the link given in the description box.